Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we're going to be talking about David Platt and is he starting to come out of that theologically liberal closet? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, and specifically, we're going to be talking about a conference he's going to be speaking at. So with that said, uh, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel to help out independent YouTube content content creators because you know I'm not NBC, I'm not Fox News, so it's hard to get ahead if you're not one of those entities. So with that said, do that. And also let me know what you think in the comments section below because I like reading comment sections. Uh, so with that said, this is the Theology in the Raw conference, and this is uh, the creation and brainchild of Dr. Preston Sprinkle. As you can see, this is on his website that this conference information is being announced. Uh, Dr. Preston Sprinkle is, a, I guess, the is a theology in the raw person. This is, I guess, his podcast. Uh, and as you can see, you know, this was the most recent, or not the most recent, the second most recent edition was why the church needs homosexual and transvestite people. Uh, and then more promotion, side B, revoice. So that's what theology in the raw does. Uh, and... This is the conference speakers lineup for their first ever conference. The headliners would include Preston Sprinkle, who's basically the organizer of this event. Jackie Hill Perry, big Eva figure over at the Gospel Coalition, mostly known for being feminist and formerly a homosexual. It's debatable. And then uh, also pretty woke. She's incredibly woke. David Platt stand out on this list because, again, you wouldn't exactly expect to see him in this lineup he's a pretty big name still but maybe this is indicative that he can't really book that many other conferences or at least good conferences who knows but david platt you know pastor of mclean mclean bible church in virginia in the washington dc metro area very liberal area by the way and that certainly bleeds into his preaching as far as i can tell and, you know, he has been a wrecking ball on every organization he has ever been a part of, not to, not to uh, exclude McLean Bible, McLean Bible Church, also the International Mission Board. So David Platt is a complete wrecking ball on church organizations and parachurch ministries. Uh, so that needs to be pointed out. And he's also increasingly gone woke. Uh, this was made clear, I believe, back in 2018. This was made clear, and in the woke train also is the Bidi Anyabile, who is a pastor in the Washington, D.C. area at Anacostia River Church. So that's where, you know, he's the pastor of. As far as I know, he's not someone who is who's a major figurehead in a uh, parachurch ministry like the Gospel Coalition. However, he is someone that has a pretty big and substantial Twitter following. I believe that's why Thabiti is a big deal. And then we have Chris Date, uh, the last headliner that I'll point out. And Chris Date seems to be best known for trying to reinvent a biblical theology about hell. Uh, and I guess he's been published by uh, InterVarsity Press, which is a red flag. Uh, another person to point out, not exactly a headliner, is Dr. Greg Coles. Dr. Greg Coles is pretty hardcore on the revoice movement. He's a revoice speaker uh, through and through and also works pretty hard with Preston Sprinkle on his Center for Faith, Sexuality, and Gender, which is like revoice, but not exactly built around being a conference. They're built about selling resources and stuff like that. So David Platt uh, is a clear standout on this list. Thabiti Anubile as well, because again, you don't really associate him with... Uh, uh, just being all that big Eva, he's like, clearly he's accepted in the guild and stuff like that. But, uh, again, I'm, I'm kind of shocked to see him on this list because again, uh, associating with Preston Sprinkle is a, is a step in the theologically liberal direction. Because again, these people, Preston Sprinkle has made a career off of undermining biblical sexuality. So, David Platt is also stepping out in that. I see this as a step towards apostasy, a public step towards apostasy that David Platt is making. This would be similar to when 
uh, Max Lucado was apologizing for having preached his sermon at an, a at a pagan church that condemned homosexuality in 2004 and talked about you know traditional biblical marriage, and you know uh, uh, Max Lucado would essentially say that you know Christians are free to disagree on this issue, and that's an unacceptable compromise. And I believe David Platt is going down that same road as well. Being a speaker at this apostate conference is certainly evidence to uh, support that conclusion. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. A short video. Didn't need to be long to talk about this. Again, let me know what you think about what I think, and I will catch you on the next one.